Okay, Brooke, are you ready? I'm never ready, but I, it, it that's where the like, magic is. Well, your face is always ready. Is it? Yeah, even though your mind's not there, your Thanks, face is ready. Buddy. Yeah, you got to give props to your makeup artist Thanks, and the hair guy, buddy. too. Yes. It's a Hawaii thing. It's a Hawaii Welcome to It's a Hawaii Thing. My name is Lanai, and that's Brooke that? Lee. Today, we have a very good show for you today. Oh, my God. It's so exciting. I think we're both excited yeah, about this. This is why we do this. Yeah. I th- really think so. I mean, it's like bathing in the waters of, you yeah. know, the past. I mean, you had you you get all these people that you looked up to, and now you get to talk to them. I this show it. is brought to you by Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union. There are credit Oh, unions. yes. They got a brand new location on Maui. Make sure you go check them out. In the Walmart. Also, the Star Advertiser. You can now get a Star Advertiser digital uh, newspaper now. Give them the code. It's A-H-I thing. Okay. Use our code and get the uh, 995 per month. Also, the Office of Elections, Hawaii votes by mail this year. In your mailbox. It's a really good way to go. If you have any questions, elections.hawaii.gov. Oh, yes. Also, got to thank City Mail. If you need anything, they got it. Especially the yellow buckets. Yeah, everybody has to have one of those yellow in their buckets. house. All right, our guest today. I looked up to my whole career. I, I, I got to meet up. him. Like I was just like, he's the man, <laughs> the man. I got to meet him uh, on a couple of different occasions, and I'll tell you about that. But this guy was one of Hawaii's biggest radio and Iconic. TV uh, host. Iconic. He he was on the air throughout the 1990s. Everyone listened to him. He was social media. Groundbreaking. Yeah, before social media, he was the social media. Anything and everything happening in Hawaii, he knew about yes, it. Yes, he did radio on KIKI Honolulu. Uh, Kong hosted a popular uh, talent competition called Brown Bags to Stardom, yeah. which created so many celebrities and stars he also hosted the popular tv show break in hawaii the, which everybody watched I, I everybody remember, watched you know why too there was only four stations so yeah. the whole state watched it uh he does radio in taiwan osaka yokohama tokyo all over the world ladies and gentlemen please welcome kamasami <laughs> kong. Kong. kong how are Hi. you aloha aloha brooke and <laughs> aloha lanai from how? my from my laundry room here in Tokyo. <laughs> nice to see you guys, Brooke. Uh, Miss Miss Hawaii, Miss USA, Miss yeah. Universe. Yeah. Model at Ala Moana Shopping Center. I remember seeing you there. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> and so Lanai, crazy. my favorite DJ in Hawaii. And look uh, what you're doing. I mean, you are doing so much these days. Congratulations yeah. to you and all your success, man. Uh, no, thank you. You really made. I think you created a mold for, especially for me, because I was like, I've always wanted to do radio but then tv was the goal and um, kong, kong did both you know yeah effortlessly yeah this was he was like uh everybody knew who you were and you're still doing radio aren't you still doing radio yeah every yeah. day i have a daily radio show in uh, various cities here in japan uh-huh. and I, I record here in my laundry room and nice. i send out the uh the the tapes and sometimes yeah. I used to go to visit various stations but now right. yeah you know with this COVID thing I I can't travel right. nobody right. wants me to go to their station from Tokyo right. so you had a you had, you had such a great story because you did a radio for a long time in Osaka which yeah, is I'm still uh, doing a show there you, on FM Kokolo in Osaka right right but hello you, you to the staff you were living there and tell everybody where you lived for a long time in Osaka can we talk about Ritz? this. Yeah, yes. in the Ritz Carlton Hotel. I lived what? in the Ritz Carlton yeah. Hotel for ten years. For yes. ten years? Suite. Ten years. I had a corner suite in the Ritz Carlton. You're like Keanu Reeves. Yes, that's crazy. Can you believe that? And wow. And if you've never been to a hotel in Tokyo or in Japan in general, and you're staying at the Ritz Carlton and it's a suite, right? It's bigger yeah. than both of our homes put yeah, together. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, that, it was it was fabulous, and I still have the key to my room. You're not going to yeah. believe this. I have the key. Wait a minute. Maybe ten I can get years? This. That's a long ten, time. Yeah. I mean, one year would be a long time to live in a hotel, but look at that. Wow. Yeah. Because now Osaka is about an hour and Dang. a half train ride from Tokyo, right, Kong? Yeah. Uh, by Shinkansen, the bullet yeah. train, it takes about two hours from two Tokyo. Hours. Two and a half hours to get from Shinagawa Station to Osaka Station. So what was and your if you schedule? Fly, Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry to cut you off. What was your schedule like? How did you when you did the show? Um, when now or well, in Osaka? Like you would go back and forth, wouldn't you? Oh uh, yeah, I'm I'm still going back and forth. Well, oh. I was going back and forth every week until this COVID thing started. Right. Then I'm I'm doing all my shows from from home. Right. But prior to that, I was going back and forth, flying back and forth, Tokyo Osaka every every Sunday. I would leave Tokyo. And then fly back to Tokyo, or I would leave Tokyo every Sunday, 
and leave Osaka every Tuesday night flying uh, back home to Tokyo. Wow. That's so crazy. And, yeah, and, that and is at the insane. Ritz. Yeah. Where's your, uh, where, where is home base now in Tokyo? Uh, in an area called Nishi Azabu, very close to the Chinese embassy uh -huh. and right across the street from a fire station. <laughs> I, I actually, I'm going to put a picture of my neighborhood, a, a little video of my neighborhood on my Facebook site. So okay. if you want to see where I live, I'll put that on. And All right. Just come to my Kamasami Kong Facebook site and you can see exactly yeah. where I live. Pretty cool. Now, you do your show. A lot of people ask, do you do it? Uh, what language do you do it in? Mostly in in English, except for song titles and contests and phone numbers and things like that. And, and uh, it's just that, popular exactly. Japanese like radio or is it Hawaii centric? Is it what kind of radio station? Like? It's definitely a Japanese radio station, mm -hmm. completely Japanese. I'm the only English broadcaster on the okay. station. Uh -huh. But we have some other shows that are at, at nighttime that are in Spanish, uh, also Korean. Chinese, Portuguese, and various other languages. Our and station we also, is a very uh, international. Kong and station. I also are uh, do a show on a sh uh, station in Tokyo, this, in, on the same station, I should say. Are you also on on Saturday? Uh, in Inter FM? It depends on what city. Oh, I'm the, not in Tokyo. Yeah, I think... Uh, yeah in tokyo no i'm not on tokyo on saturday oh okay well I, let's let's talk about this in just a second i'm gonna take a quick break okay uh talking with kamasami Kong, we got to thank hawaiian financial federal federal credit union again with the federal uh, yeah federal credit federal. union uh yeah. paulette and her people helping people make their dreams come true <laughs> uh that you can go there and open up an account you don't have to be like a uh uh, a you member know, uh, yeah you can go and sign up and just do yeah. it you know they have a brand new location it's on the maui podcasts bank this that's where we bank that's our bank yeah. yeah so go check out their new branch on maui if you're living there in the walmart also got to thank office of elections this year hawaii office vote uh, you got to vote by mail yes there's no polls yes one has no polls your go poll to, is your mailbox go to elections.hawaii.gov or you can call them at 453-86 Eight three. Also got to say mahalo to City Mill. Yes, we love City Mill. These guys have everything that Light you bulbs, need. You got to try check duct out. Duct tape. Try check them out. They tarps, really are a Hawaii shovels. thing. Shovels. You, you know, see where I'm going with this? Yeah. Hawaii? Carpet, <laughs> rope. I didn't know where you were going with it. Kamasami Kong is hanging out with us. Um, how long have you been away from the islands now? Um, well, I guess I sold my home in 2005. So okay. that's when I just kind of left Hawaii and came over to live here in Japan permanently. Do you remember do you remember the first time I met you Kong? No, try to remind me because I would I would really like to know and now especially since you're becoming so famous like, oh, like no. Joe it's Rogan. It's very strange. You're, no. you're the new Joe Rogan. <laughs> he of asks Hawaii. everybody if they remember and nobody remembers. He's like in the CIA. No yeah. one ever remembers how they meet him. It's no, kind of there's strange. a lot of times where I don't remember so I ask them but Kong in particular because we lived in the same building. On Queen oh my Street God. in yes. Harbor Court, and I listened to him my whole life growing up, you mm. know. And then he moved to Japan already, and then I was downstairs checking the mail, and out comes Kong, and I was like, "Holy crap, that's Kamasami Kong!" <laughs> I don't know who I was with, and they said the same thing. Holy crap, that's Kamasami <laughs> Kong! And you said hi to us, and then we started yeah. talking, and then you knew who I was after we started talking for five minutes, and I was just floored. Hmm. And you know, yeah. and that's how it happened. Yeah. And then now well, I thought you you had one of the best radio shows in Hawaii. Oh, you and you. was it you and Augie? Is that Augie. right? Yeah. 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 I mean, Augie at day. that time. Right. Augie T. And and then I get to see you in Japan every time I go. I, we try to, you know, have a drink or have lunch or something. That's right. Hanging yeah. out with Shen yes. and Micro Shen from uh, Def Tech. Def Tech. Do you know about yeah. Def Tech? I do not. So Def Tech is a uh, it's what would you categorize in pop music? Pop rap music. Yeah, yeah pop rap. Pop so rap. he's like an artist in Japan. He's an artist, yeah, and he's an Iolani boy. What? Yeah, yeah. and they yeah. sell out stadiums, 40,000, 50,000 yeah. people, and idea. it's two boys. So crazy. And they jump around. They have so much energy, right, Kong? Oh, yeah. They're, yeah. they're fantastic. They got a great show. You got to bring them back to Hawaii sometime. Yeah, let them yeah. do a show bring there. Them. It's not K-pop, though. No. No, 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 no. no, no. Right. Uh, it's, it's, it is J-pop, in a way. Oh, it's J-rap pop. pop. Got it. I guess okay. you can say. Yeah. Now, who do you uh, who do you like to listen to, Kong? Because you listen to so many different types of music. Oh, of course, uh, Kalapana. I still love Kalapana See, because you know my friend Gaylord, Gaylord Holomalia. Yes. Every time he comes over here to Japan, <laughs> oh, he brings, he brings me vines? these things. Yeah. Really? Tell him why. Tell him why, Kong. 
Tell hey, him why he brings you those. Because you can't get red vines here in Japan. What? And according to Kenji, Kenji Sano, he says the reason is because people here in Japan think that red vines taste like medicine. Oh, so nobody wants really? to buy red vines here in Japan, so I you can't no get them idea. anywhere. Like a black market in Japan for I red vines. I think we should sell them, Kong. Who knew? I think yeah. so, too. Hmm. Wow. We need to get a pipeline going. Yeah. Is that what you miss? Is that what you miss living there? No, but I really miss <laughs> yeah. my friends, my yeah. friends yeah. back home in Hawaii. I you miss were my so friends. connected here, though, too. I mean, like you were in the heyday. And so you were connected to all of those people that were coming up back then. I mean, Andy Bumatai and wasn't it Booga Booga? And I, that was like yeah. the halcyon days of creativity in, in island television. Live wasn't and it? everything live. Everything too. was in grown here in Hawaii that you guys were all Absolutely. doing. So you knew all this rap replinger, right? The, like these were all everyday people around you. Absolutely. Yeah. Andy, I, I saw your interview with Andy the yeah, other day so yeah. and he forgot to mention that I helped give him his start. Andy, <gasps> oh, if you're really? watching this, what? did you forget that I used to take you out to the high schools for the pep rallies? I That's took you to right. Pearl City, I took you to See? Kahuku, I took you to every high school on the island. I recorded your bits in front of the pep rallies, brought them back to KKUA, put them on the air, That's and so you became right. a huge star. Yes. See? Kong, he mentioned that in other interviews that he did on a radio show I used to do, but he's mentioned that. I'm I'm only kidding you, Andy. But he I'm has kidding. mentioned it. <laughs> I just but, I have to scold you, brah. Yeah, <laughs> but you have you have ties to other celebrities because of brown bags to start them and how they got their start. You want to name some of them? Sure, Glenn Medeiros, Tia Carrere. Tia, Tia went on to become a huge on, yeah. movie yes. star. But what did she and, do uh, for her talent? Did she sing at Brown Yeah, Bags? yeah she sang. Okay. Yeah. She it. sang uh, in the. Um, it was the St. Louis High School talent show. Yeah, because she went and to the school across oh, the Sacred street. Oh, Sacred Hearts. She went to Sacred Hearts. Yeah, Got yeah. It. Sacred Hearts. And you did a show called Break in Hawaii, that which was, huge. was very, I think, uh, iconic. And at that time, everyone needed to see it because people don't realize, if you look at these dance shows today, they don't yeah. realize half of them are like these Asian Filipino kids. True. Yeah. And breaking Hawaii, that's really but, what you know, it was. I started with um, the Hawaiian Moving Company. I started with okay. that. Okay. Right. And then we had Hawaii High. And finally, I think it was Breaking Hawaii. So I yes. did a number of different shows. So did you create all those home. shows? Or were you were you a creator on those shows? Or were you like hosting them? Or how did that all matriculate out? I was a talent. Uh, I was contacted by Larry Fleece at Channel 9. And, oh, okay. and uh, who was the other director there? Uh, Mr. Friendly, I forgot. Phil Arnone, Phil Arnone. So known you as did Mr. Moving Friendly. Company before Michael W. Perry did Moving Company. Yes, yes. yeah, I started the Hawaiian Let Moving the Company when, when it was a dance show, and we were broadcasting live from the Infinity, from the basement of the Infinity of, wow. of the Sheraton Hotel. Yes. Yeah. It was the Infinity nightclub That's with, right. Um, right. with all That's... the lit floors and the big lights yes. and Andy I brought Andy on to that show one time it was his first television appearance huh. and he said hey bro this place looks like ferals on acid <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense that does make oh, sense that is yeah. so cool well, we want to talk more about breaking Hawaii we're going to take a quick little break here um Tell us real quick that bag behind you on the top right. What, what, Why are you being so many be, LA? Because it looks Don't like a, something familiar to me and it's bugging me. Is that Cookie Company? Um, oh, the little Cookie Company behind there, you? Up yeah. there? Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, just a, whole yeah, that's a Hawaii bag. I, I can't right remember what it, that is. Right I next got to it from it. some Hawaii show here. Oh, there was okay. a food show, a food ex right. expo. I'm and, sorry, it was bugging me. Uh, I had to ask to the him. He's so stand. LA. He's I'm, so I'm, LA. I'm going to ask about all those books behind you. Kong, how did you get your name? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, that's a story. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I was working at, uh, the, my first station was KORL. Wow. And the program director there, I was using my real name, which is which is a top secret. I yeah, can't I don't tell know what you. That is. <laughs> no, it's Bob Bob Zix. Zix. Z I X. Yes, Bob. And oh, it's wow. a strange name for the radio. Okay. And I was using my real name, <clears throat> and the program director said, "You got to change your name, and from now on, you're going to be Jack Stone." <laughs> nope. And I thought Jack nope. Stone. Not a thing. That, that sounds like a porno star yeah, or something. Like yeah. I definitely did not want to be the tongue. Nope. Jack right. Stone. Nothing. No. So I I always wanted to have the name of of so, a sound like Nick, knock, uh -huh. Dan, Ding, <laughs> Bill, 
bell uh -huh. or C <laughs> saw, C yeah, saw. Yeah. And I came across the sound effect of a gong, gong. And I thought, gong, gong. That sounds majestic. It sounds fun. It's, okay. it is Hawaii. You can be translated yeah. into Filipino, uh -huh. you can be translated into Korean, totally. uh, Chinese. It works, works well across the board. That night, I went into the uh, studio and I went on the air and I was hitting the gong and I would say, I call myself gong, gong, and I'd hit the gong. Wow. And you know, back in those days, we were answering, answering um, request lines a lot. Yeah, we had yeah. six request lines at KORL and you'd push the button and say, this is KORL, what do you want to hear? And right. we'd be taping all of these calls, right? Uh -huh. Like we always did. And hit one call and the little girl says, hey, bro, what's your name? Yeah. I said, I call myself Kong. And she said, eh? I said, I call myself Gong. And she said, eh? Kamasami Kong. And I oh. thought, oh my God. Wow. Kamasami Kong. Yeah. That's it. And sweetheart, if you're listening out yeah, there somewhere. Yeah, you should get a residual <laughs> check mahalo. in the mail. Thank you. I, I don't know if you remember that, but there, there it was because of a young lady who wow. called in and yeah, she I've never heard this story. Before. Pigeon, Kong, she pigeonized she your Kamasami name. Kong. Yes. Kamasami Kong. Wow. Yeah, I always ask radio guys because most radio guys don't have their real name. You know, like how did they get you it? You mean like Grant? Yeah. Uh, and my name, Sean Sweeney gave me my name. Lanai. I was the only person he knew from Lanai. So he'd call me Lanai Boy. And then everyone around the station would go, and I was only 17, that's why. These guys oh, were all okay. adults. So, yeah, that's how I got my name. And then after I turned 21, I dropped the boy. Oh, like, like <laughs> I Bow Wow. You dropped the boy. Yeah, other okay. people dropped it, actually. Okay. Ah, Kamasami Kong. And then you had that yeah. sound bite with the Kong, you know, yeah. the, the beating of, uh, it, that was so whoa, cool. Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, 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 so crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Every yeah. time I hear it, I'm just like back in time. It's, it's nuts. <laughs> like nuts. And, and it, Tom you know, Moffat would always greet me by doing that. Kong. Really? Whoa, 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 whoa. really? Right. That's yeah. so funny. And you know what I think it's cool about the whole thing is back in the day, the, it, radio was really theater of the mind. It was. So you created yeah. this, I mean, who you are with sound effects and, mm -hmm. you know, all that stuff. So, hey, props to you for doing that. And, uh, you know, in your in your career of radio, you interview a lot of Everyone. people. You know, you interview. What are some of the that you remember? Oh, gosh. Um Stevie Wonder I had a chance to sit oh, wow. and meet with Stevie Wonder uh -huh. in his hotel room at the Western Hotel here in Tokyo. Wow. Uh, sitting, sitting with him on the sofa doing the interview, the keyboard was on the coffee table. And as we did the interview, he said, Kong, you want to hear some of my new songs? Really? Uh -huh. And he played and sang for wow. me right there. That's awesome. In his hotel room. Wow. James Brown had a chance to uh, sit and talk with James Brown. What was he James like? did one of the greatest IDs ever. You know how when a, a celebrity comes to your radio station, you give them uh -huh. a, a like a template and it says, hi, I'm so-and-so, yeah. and you're listening to Lanai yeah. on right. this right. radio station, right? <clears throat> so I gave James Brown the template and he said, I don't need no template. I don't need, no, I, 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 do, I do this my way. <laughs> and he, he went on and he did, hi, this is James Brown and you're listening to Kamasame Kong on funky 802 kamasami <laughs> hit the button and you got to get something hit it kong hit it hit it hit it ow nice. did it like wow that. and you wow. just played it forever and ever and ever because that's oh. just like gold that's gold oh ab absolutely so uh funny. yoko ono i had a chance to uh, uh, yes. meet with yoko i remember you telling me that and before the interview they said no pictures absolutely no pictures uh-huh but when she walked into the room, I said, oh, Yoko, I really like the way you're wearing your tie. And she's a speed talker. And she said, oh, well, you know, I'm really 75 years old and I just don't want to lose sight of being fashionable. So my friend gave me this necktie in New York and I decided to wear it around my jacket like this. Do you like it? I said, yeah, it looks really cool. She said, can we take a picture together? Oh, and nice. My, my engineer from Tokyo FM, my director like, from Tokyo, not supposed to take Tokyo FM, he's looking at me and he's going, no, 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 no pictures. And she said, yeah, I want to take a picture. So that's how I got this picture with Yoko. Smooth. Oh, that was Very really smooth. cool. Very smooth. Who else did you? And I think, well, when Donald Trump came to Japan. There you go. 
This is I my old boss. To, just to just talk for, and you know. meet with him. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's when he just put up the the Trump Tower in Waikiki, and he was uh -huh. trying to uh, sell units in right. that tower. Timeshares. And he was answering all kinds of financial questions, wow. and. Finally, he got tired of answering financial questions, and he pointed to me and he said, "You, I bet you don't have a financial question. Oh, Do yeah. I look like a guy who would have a financial <laughs> question? I don't look like a guy who would have a financial question." Right. So I said, uh, "Well, I know you're going to have a big event when you open your Trump Tower in Honolulu, and uh, when you have that big party, would you invite our mayor, Mufi Hanneman, to come to the party?" and sing because Mufi is a great singer and he can right. sing about Hawaii. Uh, and he said, you know, that's a great question. And I really like your mayor. And I, he knows how to get things done like that. Uh -huh. And uh, I still have the tape of that or the digital recording. And I sent it in to Mike Perry and Larry Price uh -huh. and they played it over and over and <laughs> over really? on their radio station. <laughs> so Mufi, if you're listening, aloha. <laughs> oh, we just went political on the show. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go political. No, I've you're, known you're Mufi fine. since he was a basketball player. Yeah, a high school yeah. basketball That's player. That's very yeah. true. Yeah, that now he, go back he's years. very good at cleaning ceiling fans. You know, that guy is very good Because he's that. tall? Yeah, because okay. he's tall. Yeah, okay. I, I'm totally lost track of time, of how much time we have. Um, I, I think we still got some time, but... Oh, yes, we, we're going to say bye already. Well, I feel Bye. so yes. I, I'm I'm so sad uh, for the TV portion, but you can always go and subscribe. Yeah. We're gonna talk on YouTube. to our YouTube channel okay. and uh, get the whole interview with Kamasami Kong. Thank you so much. We got uh, a gift for you that we're gonna send to you. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's enjoy snacks. Yes, kakimochi, uh, lihimoi. We have all these cool stuff for you to Ooh. eat. Yeah, but we might have to tr throw some red vines in there, Brooke. Yeah, I have no oh, idea. Oh, please, bro. Mahalo. <laughs> but we want to thank and aloha Hawaiian. to all the listeners of KKUA, KIKI, FM, Kokolo, Tokyo yes. FM. Uh, what's the other station we're on in in Fukuoka? In, in Love uh, FM. Oh, Love FM. You're yes. on there too, yes, right? Yes, I'm on Love FM as well. This is for you, Kong. We're gonna we got to thank uh, enjoy also Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union Ooh. Office of elections kong you're an amazing man and we and uh, i hope you come back on the show and join us again okay come anytime person. lanai come yes person. i love we, you we need I your still, person. you're still as beautiful if not more beautiful thank than you ever. kong thank you i love you man it's a hawaii uh -huh. thing we'll see you next time do you like uh, local snacks Oh, I, I do. I definitely yeah. like But you're local in the snacks. home of local snacks. I know. Japan it's kind of, is like where the best snacks in the world comes from. Do you what? Which ones do you miss that we you don't have besides red vines? Uh, Li Hing Moi. But oh, we can yeah. kind of get that over they here. They don't have we, that we in can Japan. Get that. They got that. It's home. different though, isn't it? It's different to me. Yeah, it's different. It is different. Yeah. Some what of else? yours are better. Uh, malasadas. When was oh. the last time you were actually here in Hawaii? When was the last time you were home here? uh four years ago oh wow okay so it's yeah. been a bit of a time Did were you, you here four while. years ago i used to yeah. come back and forth every month right but my schedule changed and things changed and i i had to stay it, it came to a point where i had to stay here more so it was difficult to fly back home is japan home now like does it feel like home or do you still feel like you're visiting? well you know i hawaii will always be home right, right. but you know, the thing is this, uh, and I don't tell this to everybody, but I guess everybody's going to know. <laughs> I came down with uh, melanoma. Oh, uh, really? I de developed melanoma, and I had to have an operation. And my doctor, who is also my son, mm. uh, he's a surgeon. Oh, wow. And, uh, and hello, Bob and May, and Ashley and Caden. Those are my two grandkids, Ashley nice. and Caden. They're here and, in Hawaii. And, uh, everybody's here in Hawaii. I went to... Yeah, no, they're in Virginia. My son okay. is a surgeon in Virginia. And he arranged for the surgery. And the doctor said, whatever you do, don't go into the sun anymore. Oh. So, you know, that made it kind of hard to go back yeah. to Hawaii yeah. because right. I always love to go out, you know, right. to Sandy Beach and yeah, you can't do some it. body surfing or right. go for a walk on the beach in Waikiki. But, you know, when you can't go into the sun, it's yeah. like, I'm walking in the shadows all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially in yeah. Hawaii. You're doing okay now? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm very yeah. healthy. Uh, just had a physical checkup the other day, and uh, everything is That's okay. good to hear. How many years have you been in radio now, Kong? 
Well, let's see. You'll have to do the math because I'm not good at that. I started when I was 15 years old. Wow. At, uh, uh, that was in 1965. Hmm. So, yeah. Okay. But I started 65, even before 70. that as a kid in my bedroom because I was a ham operator. Maybe you can see a, you can see a card up there. That's uh -huh. my old ham license. Wow. Okay. WN8NZM. But I, I turned it into an AM broadcasting station because I had a paper route and I had a toy printing press. And so nice. I would print out these little things that said, please listen to my radio station. And I put that inside the newspapers that I would deliver to my customers. And I was broadcasting Look at on you a wire recording yourself. What bedroom. an entrepreneur. Dang, that's gangster. <laughs> oh. I was totally and then gangster. where was your where was your first radio gig? Uh, first radio gig was in Ohio at a station called WMOH. Okay. W -M -O -H. Yeah. And I was uh, fifteen years old. You and you you were into music already? No, I was into, yeah, I was into music, but I was mostly into broadcasting. I was mm -hmm. so infatuated with radio because my grandmother, uh, you know, everybody will tell you this story. Like Andy told his story when he said uh, his mother used to listen to comedy albums and he yeah. understood that that's where he should be. He should be the center of attention. Mm -hmm. And my grandmother used to listen to the radio all the time and she'd sit there in front of a big furniture piece and listen to the radio and i thought i need to figure out how to get inside of there so right. she will yeah. listen to me was, was your voice already that low at 15. <laughs> you know just funny jealous. story I, I, I did have a voice at an early age and i used to be the kid back in those days you could uh, call to what they called a pony keg and you could order beer and what i would do is i would be the kid the 15 year old kid who would call to the pony keg and use my my deep radio Your manly voice. Man uh -huh. voice and i would say uh, i'd like to uh, order some beer and please deliver it to our house here <laughs> and we would go to my friend's house and we'd be hanging out and wait for the delivery truck to come and oh, that's I, would, hilarious. I would come to the door with a pair of pants with a wallet inside and i would say my dad's in the bathtub nice. <laughs> to pay you so how much is it for nice. the beer yeah and, you know we used to get cases of beer like that Man. when we were 15. right that is some entrepreneurial spirit Isn't it? Right that's pretty there. pretty clever what do you what what do you like about japan because i love japan we always have this conversation <clears throat> but what do you like about it what's not to like mm -hmm. um yeah. you know there's so so much here so isn't it much high culture. tech hawaii isn't it just high tech hawaii i mean no it's uh it's different isn't it kong it's, it's it is uh, it's well where where to start how do you it's explain the temples, it? it's the food it's mm -hmm. the it's the action it's the technology it's the architecture yeah. it's the infrastructure that's what i'm really so impressed with is the yeah. infrastructure what's their fascination with hawaii though then I think because I, well the what the weather and the uh, the food but I think it's the aloha they you have the word respect you know everything's yeah. about respecting other people's space health this and then we have of course aloha so I think those go hand in hand and I think that's the the relationship I mean you know what does that make sense because people in japan they go bananas for hawaii i mean they love yes. all things hawaiian everything about hawaii they join halaos they love and it's the and, I, and i think it's part of our culture because of the plantation days i mean they came here in 1806 right. and they were such a big part of our menu and who we are I mean, some of them are better dancers better singers better <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're better oh. at our culture than we are you yeah know what I'm it's crazy. we have some fantastic halaos over halaos there. are yeah. crazy over there i mean and bigger bigger better yeah. doing more things innovating yeah it's like kind of nuts we even have a monthly hula magazine that comes yes, out every month yeah. with tons of sponsors in it too right huh. right it's amazing and we don't even have a hula magazine no here you in know. hawaii no well that's something to start some yes. entrepreneurs should, should yes. start a hula magazine yeah that's a good idea um but but is there something that you know when you first went there that you said man i want to live here besides I the think, job yeah it, I, I was i've always been amazed with the infrastructure here yeah i mean the sub the way everything works because at the bottom level you'll have a subway going this way and above that a subway going the other the direction other way, yeah. right. above that you'll have a street and above the street you'll have an elevated highway and above mm -hmm. the elevated highway you'll have a super highway right and then you've got the the trains 
you've got the the, uh, the because the trains and the subways are totally different and monorail and then, course, yeah the monorail going out yes. to the airport yeah right and they're all on an island like we are so yes. there's no excuse hoy uh, but what's cool about too i think the people how they respect each other like in times because health uh, what do you call it uh, safety is first in japan and when you know Absolutely. like if there's a, a hurricane or if there's a you know when when the tsunami hit nobody went crazy everybody stood they in were line. importing toilet paper yeah, no. and spam and no. like yeah. hand sanitizer not no. like here oh. mm. not like in america yeah. america's you know yeah, the america's yeah you know what happened when they announced covid right kong no like, i don't what there happened? was no what? toilet paper everybody went bought all went, the toilet oh. paper they went crazy yeah. Yeah. They yeah. that happened crazy. here too i think that really? happened everywhere i don't everybody i didn't see i didn't think nuts. it would happen there well, the thing about Japan or Asia in general, they all wear masks. They're fine wearing yeah. masks. They yeah. understand. Her Everybody mentality. on the street here is wearing masks, there's except no some of the problem. foreigners who live in this area. Yeah, there's right. no problems. You're not taking away my rights. You're not like you know yes. impeding on anything. They We're just, just f follow the rules. Just trying to be respectful. Just yeah. trying to you know help us all along. But here it's like rule. Yeah. It's like you're just, you know it's a whole other issue here. Have you been doing uh, before COVID? Have you been doing a lot of Hawaiian events? Uh, yeah, just recently I did one with uh, Nathan Aviao oh, and yeah. a whole bunch of hula halals over here. Yeah. And yeah, uh, yeah uh, do you know Hokulani? Do you know Hokulani? She has Hoku. a big halal over here. She always asks me to uh, join her events, but I've just never been able to go because she always has them on a Sunday. Um. And I'm flying on Sundays. Right. Yeah, yeah. And you do uh, uh, other events as well for the radio stations, right? Yep, yep. But yeah, whenever there's an event, I have to go out and, you know, jump on a and stage. It's weird and the same right, kind of thing that you guys do. Right MC now, you guys in Japan, if COVID wasn't happening, right now would have been the Olympics. Like, Japan would have been, oh, jumping, yeah, right. would oh, have been jumping off right now. Like, it would have been a crazy place right Forgot now. Forgot about that. Yeah. There's a clock at uh, Rapongi Hills that said, says when the Olympics are going to start. And I looked at it yesterday and it seemed like there, it says until the Olympics start, five hours, 54 minutes, 475 days. <laughs> they just reset it. They're like, yeah. we're going to hanaho this in a yeah. year or so. We're going to just yeah. do it over. Yeah, at least they got it right. You know what I mean? <laughs> but you know, every everybody here in Japan was gearing up for the yeah. Olympics. That yeah. was going to be the big thing. A they big thing. they made a whole new area at Haneda Airport. We right. have a yeah. whole new shopping center in Shibuya. Yeah. There are all kinds of new things. Oh, I mean, Japan is ready for the Olympics. Tokyo is definitely ready yeah. for the yeah. Olympics. We've got a whole gonna... new fleet of taxi cabs. Yeah, they're just gonna do it next year. Next year, is they right? just put a pause. Is that what happened? Yeah. Well, put that's what on. we hope. Right, we right, hope right, right, right. That this uh, virus will, will be pass. contained with a yeah. vaccine. Yeah, by, by then. Next year. Now, Kong, you live in Tokyo. You work in Osaka. Where is your favorite place to go and visit to just escape in Japan? Ooh, that's a different. There are so many places, man. There are I really mean, are. every place I've been to. Even in Tokyo, there are great places to escape in Tokyo and all yeah. over this country. Yeah. I love going to Kyoto when I have a chance. Oh, I have a good friend the best. who has a hotel there. Love Kyoto. Uh, Can you Kyoto hook me is up? beautiful. Kyoto's not Cross. cheap anymore. Nothing's <laughs> cheap in Japan. Yeah. Nothing's cheap. Well, anymore. you know, the food is pretty, you know, people think that it's expensive. It's pretty cheap, the food. And, and you can get really nice hotels for a pretty decent price, too. Mm. But in Kyoto. Cross Hotel. Oh, Cross, oh, Cross Hotel. hotel. Is a That's a go. great hotel. There's one in Osaka, isn't there? Yes, there is a Cross Hotel. Yes, in it's on Osaka the main near, on the main uh, street. Amimura. Yeah, and honey, on the main drag, yes. I was yeah. going to stay there last time. I heard there's a Hale Kulani now in Japan that's exactly like the Hale Kulani here. That's it's right, scale. in Okinawa. Totally scale for uh. scale. They've got the tree, they've got the house without the key, they've got the wow. orchid in the middle of the Are you going to go pool. dance? Did they ask you? No, yeah. they don't ask me. You should go work Kanoi. that out. Hey, Brooke, Kanoi does Brooke, that. please come over. Please That's come Kanoi's over. Kong, set that up, She's Kong. She's the OG. She's the original. Kong, set that up. Come on, Hollywood. so we can yeah. all go. I just We're going to set that up. Dance yeah. Around. He knows people. <laughs> Kong knows people over there. Kong, you know where I, I like to go is Hakone. I've oh heard of that. yeah, Hakone so beautiful. Is beautiful. Yeah, and it's like place. it's like two hours, hour and a half out it's of like Tokyo. Like an outer island. Yeah, it's yeah, right. it's like a, it's so cool. It's in the middle like of a Molokai, volcano, but you know, yeah, remote. Let's say every remote. place, every place is remote. beautiful over here. Right, right down the street from where I live, there's a beautiful temple. Absolutely, uh -huh. you know, you just step back this little alley, and you wouldn't believe that you're in busy Tokyo anymore. Mm -hmm. It's just 
a gorgeous little paradise right yeah. right in this very busy part of the city. I want to um, shift gears uh, back to Hawaii a little bit. Okay. Sure. I want to ask you about Break in Hawaii. How did this concept yeah. come about? And do you remember a lot of the groups and how you got them? Um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, I was working with Channel 9 at that time with uh, Phil Arnone. And he kind of set everything up. The directors set everything up. I think it was Dan Schmidt and... Uh, because oh, you were guys. you were at the I, you I were on the, the radio names. at that point in your in your trajectory you were like one of the hottest radio DJs in Hawaii, and you were on one of the popular stations yeah. and you guys were playing all of that music, but yeah. it's the first time I think in Hawaii that I remember that we were in the zeitgeist during the zeitgeist because during usually Hawaii is like five years behind everything. Oh right? yeah, you know you look at America's Best Dance Crew you that know, was Kong created that. We're usually behind the times with you know things that come from the mainland and float over here on a coconut, but like we were in the moment <laughs> yeah. when breaking was happening. We yeah. were having that show when Electric Boogaloo came out. You guys were doing the show, so we felt so yeah. current yeah. and like we were like we're like the mainland kids. Right. We're just as cool as the one on the mainland where did you how did you come up with the concept well uh prior to that you may remember i was doing the disco show um that was hawaiian moving company right and then it came a time when suddenly people started saying disco sucks that's right yeah. were, like throwing remember that on the ground yes. and burning all of the records and, oh that's yeah, hilarious yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and true. i knew i knew that my stint my uh, gig at kgmb for hawaiian moving company was over one time when i was walking down the street in waikiki with my girlfriend at that time who uh -huh. shall remain nameless <laughs> and some guys and some guy, you know who you are um some guys were cruising by in a car windows down and they saw me and they yelled out hey kong disco sucks <laughs> and i thought oh, okay well it's over it's over it's now over. yeah yeah, yeah. And, and then, you know, dancing continued. Everybody still loves to dance. And I saw uh -huh. people doing break dancing all over the place. And I yeah. thought, hey, 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 here's an idea for a new show. And that's how that came about. We need to bring it. I think we should play back. We should play it back. We should really like go bring find it back. the tapes. No, they have or... the tapes at, at uh, nine. Oh, it's right. owned by nine, right? Yeah, I, I think now. there's a place called Ululu or something yeah. like that. Oh, Ulu Ulu Moving um, You mentioned archives. that, right? Yeah. About Andy's shows. Yeah, they have all the tapes. They have all the archives. Kong, I'm going to go I, see if we can figure something out. Please, I'd love to get a hold of some of those oh, tapes. But you don't have yeah. any copies of any of that stuff, really? There's What's some that? on YouTube. You don't have copies of any of that stuff for your own No, record? I don't have copies of any of that. I, I had it in Christmas storage in Hawaii. Coming your way. Oh my goodness, we're going to get this together. We're Kong, going to find that for you. Do you know, do you remember the groups? Just can you rattle out some of the group names? I'm curious if oh, you remember. I don't remember gosh, any Gosh, I, I, it's hard to remember only all the only names mechanical of the groups. masters. But I, I, every now and then something will pop up on uh, YouTube and somebody will send me a link. So if you if you want to see some of those acts and if yeah. you want to see me yeah. as a as a young kid in a Michael only jacket. Jackson jacket. <laughs> he was wearing a Michael Jackson jacket, I remember on one couple episodes yeah. too. Yeah. Just do a search of Break in Hawaii on YouTube. Right. So You'll be cool. able to find it there. You can pull up some of the group names too, like I Foot was, Rock Bunch. I was always that girl who wanted to be at the shows. And like, watch. Who yeah. were tape? How did you guys get your audience? It's like, how do you get to be in that yeah. where it's happening? What's happening? How do I get on Checkers and Pogo? How do I get on the you show? You have to be part of the in crew. I didn't know how to get on the show, but I watched it every single day. I was yeah. like, this is where I want to be. So that's well, why thank you came to this universe. I, I, I'm looking at you right now through my magic mirror. Remember that? Remember Romper Room with uh, Robin yeah. Mann? <laughs> yeah. Aloha, Robin. That scared me. I, I'd be like, Ma, he, he's watching me. <laughs> I'm still in contact with Robin. That's Are you really? He's still a, a dear, dear friend. No way. Yes. Wow. Absolutely. Yeah. That's awesome. That's Insane. awesome. Insane. Can I do a quick shout out to of course. Um, my ahead. grandkids, yes. Kelowna and Hawk, okay. Hayden, Hawk, Dan, Sandy, great. Sam, Edgy, Frank, Frank Shaner, Ricky, Ed, Ed Kanoy, Gaylord, Richie, Don, FM Kokolo staff, the listeners, Tokyo FM, 50th anniversary, wow. uh, Barb, Barbara from Tom Moffat's office, yes. uh, oh. David, Donnie, Donnie, this, this shirt, uh -huh. this shirt, this shirt yeah. is from Donnie, Donnie Martin. Oh, nice! Uh, wow. You know, you know, Donnie. Yes, he, he yes. always was with Mackie, Mackie uh -huh. Fury, and now with, um, with uh, who's he with? 
Bye bye bye, cool pool. Oh, he, he's, he's with brother song. No. He's with brother No. Brother Nolan. Brother, brother Nolan. Nolan. Right. Yeah. And uh, aloha to Mariko, Hey Young, Deborah, Kathy, and Coach in Dubai. Coach Cardan in Dubai. Dang. I might have a gig in Dubai. Really? Yeah, that's yeah. A, that's gonna be a good one. Wow. I get to fill yeah. in if he can't make it. In Dubai? Yeah. In okay. Dubai. Right, Kong. We we worked uh, that they're out. Gonna right? fly me over to What? MC these. Uh, Events like Tony Robin events. Huh. Yeah. I have a friend who who does uh, motivational speeches there. Right. He used to live here in Tokyo, and he called me just the other night and he said, "When this COVID thing is over, we're going to fly you to Dubai once a month or once What's a, a month. That's awesome. Dang. Yeah. yeah. Well, Kong, it's been a pleasure talking to you, man. A walk down memory lane, yeah. like you wouldn't yeah. believe. I'm going to be in Japan hopefully at the end of the year, and we're going to have dinner. Knock on wood. Our usual, Absolutely. Our lunch or dinner thing. And, um, Lots of great restaurants here. Congratulations on everything. It's so cool to We know that you're still you doing here. radio. We miss yeah. you in Hawaii. Uh, we, we really I miss do. you guys too. I truly yeah. do. And aloha to all my friends in Hawaii, all my friends on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, and, well, come visit me on Facebook. I'm yeah. still there under Kamasami Kong. Kamasami Drop Kong. me a message. Follow Kamasami Kong. The, the guys like James Coles and all the DJs always talk about you and when they, when they bring up old school music. Because you really were the one that introduced us to all of the, the all of it. classics, you know. All of it. Um, but we're proud. We're proud to call you our friend, Kong. You have, yes. a, have a good week. Yes, thank you very much, Lanai, and to you, Brooke. It's so mm-hmm. nice mm-hmm. to see mm-hmm. both mm-hmm. of you mm-hmm. here. I send you aloha right. from Tokyo. All right, you take care, Kong. Aloha. Take care. Okay. It's a Hawaii aloha. thing. Aloha.